Hi! Welcome back to my channel. I am Dr. Christine Kiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician. And in my channel, I give you weekly videos for any question that you might have on a certain topic that would help you raise happy and healthy kids. You can also follow my Facebook page and Instagram, as well as subscribe to this channel. In this week's video, we are going to talk about fever in children. What is the normal temperature and what is fever? What is the correct way of taking your child's temperature? What are the ways of managing fever? As well as, when should you worry and call your doctor? So keep watching, alright? Fever in children Fever is usually due to an infection such as viruses like the cold or common flu. It can also be due to a bacterial infection like a strep throat or streptococcal throat infection or ear infection. Uh, it is not a disease. Fever is simply a sign that the body is trying to fight an infection. What is the normal temperature? So it varies with age, activity, and the time of day. So in infants tend to have higher temperature compared to older children. And also with the time of day, the temperature in children is usually highest around late afternoon until early evening and it is lowest from midnight to early morning. What is the normal temperature? So if you take a rectal temperature, a guide is that 38 degrees Celsius or 100.4 Fahrenheit or lower is normal. Whereas if you take an oral temperature, if you have 37.2 degrees Celsius or 99 degrees Fahrenheit or lower is still considered normal. What causes a fever? So everyone has an internal thermostat that regulates the body temperature. And the normal body temperature is 37 degrees Celsius plus minus 0.6 degrees and 98.6 Fahrenheit plus minus 1 degree. So when the body detects an infection, it raises the body temperature to help fight it. Fever is actually important in fighting an infection, although it can make your child uncomfortable. Its effect is also an increase in heart rate and breathing, as well as there is increased need for fluids, so your child is at risk for dehydration. Fever commonly accompanies uh, respiratory illnesses such as pneumonia, colds, flu, sore throat, and ear infections. How to take your child's temperature? Although you can tell that your child is a fever by simply feeling his forehead and noting that he is warmer than usual, but you actually need to use a thermometer in order to tell you how high the fever is. And so doctors recommend that you use digital thermometers. Mercury thermometers are no longer recommended. And the American Academy recommends that you take away all the mercury thermometers from your homes in order to prevent accidental exposure and poisoning. There are several types of digital thermometers. Now we are going to discuss the digital multi-use thermometer. It takes the temperature through the sensor at its tip that touches that part of the body. So you can use it rectally, orally, or axillary. Um, for rectal use, it is recommended for children 0 to 3 years old, orally for children 4 to 5 years, and axillary. You can use it as a screening for fever, although it is the least reliable way. To use it rectally, simply sit your child on your lap with the buttocks out and insert the thermometer about half an inch to one inch and wait for one minute. For oral use, you put the tip of the thermometer under the tongue and wait for one minute. In the easiest with axillary use, simply put it um, under the armpit and wait for one minute. Don't forget to label your thermometer as rectal or oral or axillary. Now, the next type of digital thermometer is that of the temporal artery. The temporal artery thermometer measures the temperature 
through the infrared heat waves released from the temporal artery. So you put the thermometer on the side of the forehead and it is useful for children three months and older. The next type of digital thermometer is, is that of the tympanic thermometer. It measures heat waves released from the eardrum. So you put the thermometer inside the ear. It is useful for children six months and older. It is not useful for younger children because uh, you need to put it correctly inside the ear to take the correct temperature. Now we go to action steps on ways of managing your child's fever. First off, make him comfortable. Put him in a cool room. You can lower the temperature or you can put a fan nearby to keep the cool air moving. Also, do not overdress your child. Take note, ice packs and alcohol baths are no longer recommended. It is also important that you offer your child plenty of fluids to avoid dehydration. Now, what are the signs of dehydration? So if your child has a dry mouth, crying without tears, and fewer wet diapers. Also, get the digital thermometer ready, get the medicines ready, and get your pediatrician's phone number ready. Also, your child does not have to be in bed the whole time that he has a fever. He can move around the house as long as he does not overexert himself. Now, what medications to give for your child's fever? Acetaminophen or paracetamol and ibuprofen are safe and effective medicines that would make your child comfortable and decrease the fever. They are available even without a prescription. Take note, ibuprofen is only given for children 6 months and older. And we do not give aspirin in children to treat a fever. This is because aspirin has been linked to upset stomach, intestinal bleeding, as well as Ray syndrome in children. Sponging. You can do sponging alone or you can combine sponging with taking of medications. That is all right. Make sure you test the water with the back of your hand and it should feel slightly warm. Use a clean washcloth or sponge and sponge it all over your child's body. Make sure you do not put alcohol because it can be absorbed into the skin or inhaled and can cause serious problems. So when should you worry and call your doctor? If your child appears very ill, it is unusually drowsy or is very fussy or irritable. If your child has been to a very hot place, you should worry about that. If your child has accompanying symptoms such as stiff neck or severe headache, severe sore throat, or there's an unusual rash, or if your child is vomiting or has diarrhea. If your child also has signs of dehydration such as dry mouth, not taking any fluids, fewer wet diapers, sunken eyes, uh, sunken soft spot. You should worry about those. Also, if your child has problems with the immune system such as taking steroids or with cancer, also you should worry if your child has a seizure. And in younger children such as uh, those less than three months old with a temperature of 38 degrees Celsius or higher, you should worry about that. If your child's fever is high about 40 degrees Celsius and um, getting worse, you should worry about those. All right, that's the end of our video. I hope you learned a lot and enjoyed watching. So I'll see you on the next video, all right? Hi, I hope you enjoyed the video. I am here to provide support and help you raise happy and healthy kids. If you have any questions or if you want to suggest a topic, just type in the comments below. And don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and the bell button to keep posted. Alright?